Hi there, Rose Grunewald here, and I'm stamping with you today in my stamping studio in New Holstein, Wisconsin. And today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable Easter card using the Peony Garden Designer Series paper. Now listen, this card is simple and you can put it together in just a few minutes, but the layout that is a gem. You are going to be able to use this for any designer series paper that you have in your stash and I think you are really going to like crafting this card. Now if this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome! Thanks for stopping by. I have lots and lots of video tutorials and you don't want to miss out on any of them, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss a thing. If you would like more photos, um, and dimensions for the supplies, uh, the layers used in this card, plus a list of supplies and more, you can head to my blog at www.rosegrunewald.com and I have a link to this exact blog post right down below in the description. Now, what do you say? Let's get to stamping. For our card today, we are featuring the Springtime Joy Clean Stamp Set out of the Spring Catalog. Isn't the stamp set adorable? It's got some super cute fonts, and I love the sayings. Easter is a lovely reminder of new beginnings. May the new life of spring bring you joy. Welcome spring. Little butterflies in Easter baskets, basket, and I just think that little lamb and chick and bunny, they're all so darn adorable. Now the card I'm about to show you is a simple layout that you can use um, with any of the designer series paper that you have in your stash. So keep this layout handy so that you can put some quick cards together. All right, we are also going to be using today the Tasteful Labels dies, and we will be die cutting um, this largest die here out of a scrap of basic white. And then our other paper that we have cut and ready to go is a piece of soft sea foam, and this is five and a half by eight and a half. I've got a piece from the Peony Garden Designer Series paper stamp set, and this is four inches by five and a quarter. I've got a piece of basic white for the inside of our card that's exactly the same size as our Designer Series paper, four by five and a quarter. And then I just cut off a strip of what was left when I cut down this piece. This is an inch and a half wide by four inches long. The first thing I'm going to do is my die cutting. So I'm going to do that really quick and I will be right back. Okay, we have got our label die cut and I love this one. It's got a little stitch edging on it. Isn't that beautiful? And we're going to do some stamping now. So I'm going to bring in my Stampin' Pierce mat. We're going to use Smoky Slate ink and Soft Sea Foam ink today. So let me grab my sentiment here. The one I'm using says Easter is a lovely reminder of new beginnings. Okay. And I'm going to stamp this in Smoky Slate. I like to practice a little bit here so that I know. All right. So I'm going to stamp that in the center, just like that. And then I'm going to grab my soft sea foam and you stamp these little flowers. So I'm gonna stamp one each of these little flowers here. Oh, that's gonna be really cute. And I'm gonna stamp one here. And here. These are such fun spring colors. And while we're stamping, we should do the inside of our card as well. So I'm going to grab my smoky slate and I'm going to be stamping this little lamb. So adorable. 
I'm going to put that right here in the bottom corner of my basic white layer. And then the sentiment may the new life of spring bring you joy. I'm going to let me practice this first. Okay. I'm going to stamp that up here. So cute. And then the other color that coordinates in this designer series paper is petal pink. So I'm going to grab my petal pink ink pad here. And there's a little butterfly in the stamp set. So I'm just going to take that butterfly. And I'm going to stamp it here above that sentiment. Isn't that adorable? Just simple, but super, super cute. All right, all our stamping for this card is done. And now we just need to put it together. So I'm going to fold my cardstock in half here. Use my bone folder to get a nice crisp fold and edge. And we're going to glue down this piece of designer series paper with these beautiful smoky slate flowers. And I'm going to glue that on the front. Like so. And then we will grab our inside piece. And I'm going to glue that to the inside right away. Oh my goodness, isn't this just adorable? Cute. All right, and now you remember we had this strip that was four by one and a half. I've got my triple banner punch here. And what I'm going to do is slide this all the way to the end and punch. And we end up with a little banner here, just like so. I'm going to grab my um, twine from the well-suited twine combo pack. And I'm just going to wrap this around once and tie it in a little bow. Now, this twine is part of my many messages class that I have going on right now. You can pre-order through March 15th. I like to tie this twine in a knot and then tie it in a bow. And there are details on this class. You get a full piece of the, or a full pack of the well-suited twine combo pack in there. You also get a quarter pack of the Peony Garden Designer Series paper, which is the designer series paper that we are using for this card today. And you get a quarter pack of the well-suited designer series paper. So the nice soft colors in Peony Garden are going to be absolutely wonderful to make Easter card with cards with, or just springtime cards if you're not an Easter person. All right, and what we are going to do then is glue this down. Up here, not quite centered, a little higher than centered on our card. And then we're going to take dimensionals and we're going to pop up this, maybe I went a little crazy on the dimensionals here. <laughs> I should have centered those on the end. We're going to pop this label up on dimensionals. Oops. Just like so. All right, and a 
of course, we need a little bling. So I'm going to grab these fun opal rounds. And I'm going to take your pick tool. I love using the putty end of this for taking my embellishments off of the sheets. Oh my gosh, it works really, really great. Stick a few of these on. And our card is totally done. Isn't that adorable? Look at the inside. Okay, if you need to order supplies, I would love to be your demonstrator. I so appreciate when you order from my online store. I send a thank you card to every single one of my customers who orders from me, and it's one of my favorite things to do every month. You can shop my store on my website, www.rosegrunewald.com. Just click the shop link. <clears throat> You'll also find more inspiration there. So while you're there, take some time and browse around to get more ideas. If you could please use my March 2021 host code, ADVD3TYA, I would so appreciate that. Skip that code if your order is over $150 because you'll get some rewards and I want to make sure that you get those. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed this card and I will be stamping with you soon.